Hello everybody and welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler and today we're back with another trailer reaction from the Game Awards 2021. This will be the last trailer reaction. I've done quite a few uh, in a short space of time. I know, I'm sorry if you're a little bit fatigued with, with them, but hey, they're all come out together. I'm gonna to do reactions all together and just, I know it's gonna probably be about a week's worth of trailers, probably more. But today we're looking at one that sounds very interesting because it's got Star Wars in the title and that automatically makes me 10 times more interested than anything else because I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars games. Um, this one is Star Wars Eclipse. Don't know anything about it. Never heard of it before this, which is I'm pretty sure is the case with a lot of people, but it's a reveal trailer, but unlike Wonder Woman, it's two minutes, 50 seconds long. You know, how an actual reveal should be. Now it is a cinematic, but as long as it shows us a little bit about what we can expect from the game rather than just here's a character, I will be happy with that. So with that being said, let's crack on and I'll talk about it afterwards once I've sorted my hair out. I've got to look good on camera, everybody. Come on, let's crack on. Ooh, okay. Oh, I saw a screenshot of this on Facebook and didn't understand the concept of the people drumming, but people were really excited for it. Why do people keep staring at the sun and eclipses in games recently? They did it in House of Ashes. Have a good drum beat. Okay. Good stars, so we know they'll be fighting in a bit. Ooh, an asteroid field. I wonder what the odds of navigating that are. That's kind of like a Naboo type planet, but not quite Naboo. Cool, want one. Not the Akbar thing, the green little duck things. Whatever. Well, it looks great, but it is a cinematic. But again, games look like good now. You can't tell if it's going to be in game or just cinematic trailer. Okay, so that gives a little something. It's before the fall of the Republic. Oh, is that it certainly looks like 3PO. <laughs> wow. This looks awesome. Oh, wow. Was that a hint of Dooku with that lightsaber? I know I'm like five minutes behind the trailer I'm talking, but. So this looks like it's set uh, circa episode one. It was freaking very really good though. Am I supposed to know who you are? Okay, so that is cool. Oh, that's what the symbol's for, I like that. That's a really imaginative logo, actually. That's, I'm really impressed with that. I wish I had that kind of talent. If you looked at my channel logo. Uh, so, let's talk about that then, shall we? So, again, uh, We've recently had the, we've done the reaction to Wonder Woman, and I said the problem with the reveal trailer is it just showed the character which we already were familiar with, doing nothing really of any interest, and I didn't see the point in doing a reveal trailer that didn't show you much about the gameplay. This is also a reveal trailer, but it showed us so much. We know it's going to be set roughly, well, I'm going to guess before the time of episode one. Uh, so we saw Yoda, so we'll be traveling the universe, we're not really stuck on one planet. Not that you probably would be in a Star Wars game, but you'd never know. There, you know, there are nothing wrong with having a small scale Star Wars game, you know, where you are just kind of confined to the one planet. I mean, we're all confined to one planet. We seem to have plenty of different adventures. So, but by the by, uh, it showed obviously that there's Jedi. So we don't know if we're going to be a Jedi or if we're going to be helping the Jedi. There's a good chance we will be, but you don't know that. Uh, so yeah, it, 
That's what I mean. It gave us so much more. I'd love to go and have a proper breakdown of this. So let's talk about the main theme that was running throughout, which was the drummers. Uh, that's obviously a, a part of the ritual. Now, I'm not a big follower of the extended universe of Star Wars. I do enjoy it. I read a couple of things, but not. I, I'm not involved in everything. Uh, so I'm not clued up on all the characters, but I'm pretty sure that was Ronan, the accuser. No, wait, that's Marvel. Hmm. The, the emerging. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not him. So who could it be? Well, a cool guess for me, what I would love to see, would be um, Darth Plagueis being resurrected. That would be awesome. Um, but I, I don't know. Some, I'm sure there's some Star Wars fans out there who are like, boom, that's who that is. Can't wait for that. And I'm just there like, I don't know. But that's part of the fun. There's a lot of characters in there. Again, there was that curved lightsaber that looked like Count Dooku, but not a red blade. So again, we're assuming we're going further back to back when he was a Jedi. So we're going to see maybe again, maybe it's going to focus more on the dark side of people's descent and getting twisted by the dark side. Uh, maybe it's going to be part of a longer series. I'm not really sure. But either way, I am excited. The only thing I have to wonder is, where's my Jedi Fallen Order 2? You know, I'm all up for that, but I also want to see a second one of that. But hey ho, I'm really excited for it though. Again, if you guys want to start seeing more in-depth trailer breakdowns, then do let me know. I'll not do it for every trailer, but for you know the big ones, I'll definitely look into to doing something like that. Uh, but really excited for this one. Really excited to look uh, into it a little bit more and find out because of why I love Star Wars. I love the world that they've built. Um, I just, yeah, it's great. Uh, it really is. I'd love to see a Mandalorian uh, again. I know you got Bounty Hunter, but you know, I'm, I'm talking about like a modern day one, something really cool, but I don't think we'll get that anytime soon. But yeah, looks awesome. Excited. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.